It may be the final weekend of August, but we are going to be off to a little bit of a cool start and enjoy some cool for August temperatures through the rest of the weekend. Temperatures are in the 50s right now across central and eastern Kentucky. The cool spots in Danville, also Mount Sterling, where you're waking up to the low 50s. Meanwhile, the fit, mid 50s rather are pretty popular across the area. Mike's track live Doppler also quiet this morning. No showers or thunderstorms. The track certainly a far cry from what they're seeing across the Texas Gulf Coast this morning as Hurricane Harvey is continuing to spin and just churn, even though it has made its landfall late last night. Now back here at home, as we go throughout the course of the day, plenty of sunshine is going to be around again. Temperatures off to that cool start will be sitting in the mid 50s this morning by lunchtime, warming up into the low 70s and we'll top off today only near 80 degrees with lower humidity as well. So it's almost like early fall is in the air here on your Saturday and we're going to continue to track pleasant conditions all weekend long. That's thanks to high pressure, which is going to be part across southeastern Canada, continuing to pull in that cool, dry air across the bluegrass so we can expect a lot of sunshine. Our next chances for rain and storms is looming. It's not going to be arriving until late week, though, as I'm tracking this cold front to work its way through the Midwest this weekend, eventually then dropping into the Ohio Valley. But again, that's not going to be until early in the new work week. Shifting gears, though, the big weather story remains Hurricane Harvey. It made landfall late last night near Rockport, De uh, Texas, which is just to the northwest of Corpus Christi. It made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane, packing uh, maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. Now, Harvey is the first major hurricane, meaning it's Category 3 or greater, to make landfall in the U.S. since Hurricane Wilma made landfall in Florida back in 2005. So it's nearly a 12-year drought route. Meanwhile, this is the last category for a hurricane to make landfall in the U.S. since Charlie back in 04, and the last time that Texas saw a landfall, uh, landfall in category for a hurricane was all the way back in 1961 with Hurricane Carla. Now this morning, Hurricane has been we uh, Harvey has been weakening since it's made landfall. It's to be expected as it's losing its energy source, meaning those warm Gulf waters. It's now down to a Category 1 hurricane, just sitting to the southwest of Victoria, Texas, packing sustained winds of 90 miles per hour with gusts topping 120 miles per hour. You will notice the movement very slow, only 6 miles per hour to the northwest, and the storm is expected to just sit and spin across the southeast Texas coast. It then is going to be looping back across the Gulf into early next Next week, and it, it, we are projecting with the National Hurricane Center to make another landfall somewhere near Houston early in the new week. So it is going to be a tough couple of days across southeastern Texas. We were talking about that during the last uh, news block as we were going to be seeing just life threatening, catastrophic flooding across the Texas Gulf Coast, even into the Louisiana as well. As through Friday, we could be seeing up to two feet, even pushing three feet locally of rain in some spots across that neck of the woods. Now today, though, back at home, we are off to a cool start, but it is going to be a splendid afternoon with plenty of sunshine, 8 degrees for a high temperature. Tonight, we're down into the mid-50s. Skies will be clear. Some valley fog, though, will develop after midnight. Tomorrow, almost a carbon copy. We'll tack on a few more degrees with highs in the low 80s. Again, storm chases begin to roll in late day Monday. We'll continue to track more activity Tuesday and Wednesday. You will notice through the end of your eight-day forecast, temperatures stay relatively cool for this time of the year. It'll be in the low 80s and we'll start to dry things out late in the upcoming work week, Steve and Claire. Beautiful weekend for here for us still. Thank mm -hmm. you so much.